Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I work for Gwinnett County Police Department in Gwinnett County. We're about 30 minutes outside of the city of Atlanta. You can go down there for the nightlife and uh, they've got uh, a lot of places to go around here in Georgia that uh, have a lot of Civil War history and uh, I, personally I like the fishing. Uh, they've got great fishing here. I was responding to uh, illegal drug activity at the convenience store up the street here. It says that there's a male backed into the parking lot selling drugs out of his car. The subject that we're looking for in the vehicle that's selling the drugs is uh, I've already left the gas station. We have another officer behind him right now. He was filling to maintain his lane, and uh, you can come on up and just get up here in front of me if you want to. Can you see if he just put his hand out the window off the driver's side? LA, he's got a better view than I do. Ten four. I'm going to light him up here in a minute when we get through this light for the failure to maintain lane. All right, sounds good. Ten four. We'll be ten thirty seven on that vehicle. Final stop is going to be the Wendy's parking lot off a of club. Actually, pulling into the Arby's parking lot. Okay. Radio, he's single lady. He's single lady. He just, he's on club. He's single lady. in those units. He's probably going to have a lot of damage to his vehicle. He just went over two curbs. 539 to 510. We are clear on your traffic. We're letting Air One follow. The subject that we tried to stop took off, and we're letting our helicopter that's uh, following above right now to keep track of him. Bye. 
behind. Got one officer about 50 feet behind him closing. Give us your hand, man. Beautiful job, guys. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Good job. All right, All right you are under arrest. Come on, man. Got scared. Got scared for what? Stupid. You got that? Yeah. Why did y'all pull me over? Uh, fair to maintain lane. What a signal light? Yeah. Did I just commit a felony? Yes, you did. Yes, you did, sir. Why'd you run? I'm trying to go home for my wife. Stupid. Just got married. I don't have no warrants in that. Confirming we do have an 85 in route, I guess? No, we're having K9 come first. I don't. Okay, good. Flip over, man. <laughs> yeah, you can't run a helicopter. Stand on up. All right, you don't lead the path. I got him. I think we ran. What happened? If we didn't have the helicopter above us, we would have lost them way back. Helicopter played a great part. Well, man, you went from a, a single ticket traffic citation to some very serious traffic charges. Serious criminal violations as well. So, he was bailing out to the woods. Stop right here. Gave chase. As we got to the end of this wood line, he saw me and I drew down on him. Fire on him. He laid down, hands behind his back. He's taken to custody without any further incident. I, I know, but I'm just trying to like find out, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, like I'm, I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm 37, I don't got, I just, I don't got no, okay. no felonies. I'm just saying, like, these are some. Yeah, there's some good charges on you. So I'm not getting out of jail? No, not tonight, you know. Just relax. This guy's going to jail for a slew of charges and. He probably should know that he can't outrun a helicopter. In all the years I've been working law enforcement, I can say there's a general theme. People get in their most trouble over poor decisions, which makes me all that much more grateful for my own upbringing. My mother, as a single parent, did a great job teaching me right from wrong, and she always took the time to discipline me and uh, essentially made me the man that I am today. We're getting a call from dispatch. Somebody went over to their neighbor's house started pounding on their uh, neighbor's door, talking about how they got beat up. The details at this stage of the game are kind of sketchy, but we're gonna try to resolve the problem. Hey, how are you? Did you call us? Huh? Did you call us? Yeah. Oh, good. How's everything? Everything's fine. What's the story? Our neighbor, he lives in number 68. He went yes. over to our house and he have a cut in his head. Yes. He's Romanian and he said uh, he had a friend over, but he's drunk and he hit him on his head. Please call 911. And okay. he was walking like... Do you do you know if his friend is still in the apartment yeah, or no? he's still, and my husband just took him, I think, upstairs. When oh, okay. I went to put the phone, they went upstairs. All right. Who's this guy? Who's the one to fight? Who's the one to fight? Oh, hey, wait a minute, you got blood? You're gonna need medical. This guy's bleeding pretty good from the head back here. I didn't know what's happened. Come on outside. I'm gonna talk to you here in a minute. This guy's bleeding really good here from the head. I'm gonna take him outside and hang on to him. I'll talk to him and find out what's going on. So what happened? He punched me in the head. He punched you in the head? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna come outside, okay? Yeah. Just, just stay right there for a second. You're the victim, okay? But yes. you're all bloody. Yes. Okay. No what? Come here, my friend. That's affirmative. You got any weapons on you? Yeah. I'm gonna pat you down real quick. How did this all get started? He owed you money for rent? No, I, uh, I bring him in the room. He doesn't pay a month and a half, and uh, uh, he pay after, but... Uh, I don't know. After the trouble, yeah. So you and he are roommates, and he's been living here for how long? Month and a half. Month and a half. Okay, stand back right here. So in the past month and a half, he hasn't paid you rent, and you got into a big fight over the rent. Uh, looks like when he pay, something the trouble. So what was the main argument 
today that got him to hit you with that lamp? Was he hit you with the lamp? Yes. He, uh, uh, he doesn't let me usually to sleep. I go to work today. He stay home. He says, uh, why you like to sleep too much? Uh, because it's, uh, you're sick. You want to sleep, you're a sick person. Okay. I have to ask you this, and don't take offense. Is this, is this, are you guys, um... No, 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 no. You're not? No, 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 no. no. Not like that at all? No, no, no. Okay, it's just a friend of yours. Yes. And he doesn't want, and the argument was because he didn't want you to go to sleep? Yes. Can you sleep too much? Because I'm sick, yeah. He says I'm, I'm uh, But what did he, I mean, why does he care how much you sleep? What, what difference is that to him? No, because, because if you're roommates. Uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, nobody like it, uh, uh, the people who sleep. It's going to be sick people. I have to go to the doctor. So he thinks that you have a yeah, uh, time out. Yeah, yeah. Time out. Let me, let me make sure that I get this right. So he thinks that you have this big sleeping problem that you're sleeping all the time and you shouldn't be sleeping. Yes. So he hits you in the head with a lamp. Yes. That doesn't make sense to me. Yes. There's not anything more to the story. No. No. I, you guys drinking a bit? Yes, we drink. But he, his vodka is over there. He was drinking vodka. Vodka. How much did he drink? About a fifth. I know. I must uh, to work. Yeah. I come back at uh, five thirty. I so, work. So he's been drinking for several well, hours? Um, yeah. yeah. And, and, and you too, or no? No, I was to work. I work today. So you came home from work and he drank all day? Yes. And he didn't work? No. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Let That's me take wrong. a look and we'll see what he popped you with here. In talking with this victim, it seems like alcohol has played a big role here. They're roommates here in this small apartment. And uh, it turned into a big bloody mess. One guy called another guy a name he didn't like. And the guy went and grabbed a lamp and went ahead and clubbed him over the head and uh, popped him here. And you can see the, the lampshade. It looks like he got him with the whole thing where the lampshade came down and hit him maybe first. Blood splattered all over the place. The one gentleman's going to be arrested for battery domestic violence and battery with a deadly weapon. The other gentleman's going to be treated for his pretty bad head injury. So we're going to try to get the arrest packet going now. Medical's here, my partner's got them all down. Hopefully we can get everybody where they need to go and man to the hospital, the other guy to jail. Hey, how are you? You see, I have marks in my neck. He wants to struggle me to, to, to kill me. Listen to me, I want to hear your story, but prior to that, sure, prior, problem, prior to that, I want to read you all your rights, though, okay? No problem, sir, yeah. Okay, you speak English pretty well, right? Sure, yeah. Okay, you got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have yes. the right to the presence of an attorney, okay? If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed before any question. You understand your rights? That's me on the rights. Okay, you understand all those sure, rights, don't you? All right, let me try to explain to you what yes, we had sir. here, okay? Yeah. I get there. Yeah. And you're sitting down. This man is in a bloody mess, okay? What happened in there? You know, I was talking. Yes. She was sleeping. Uh, she jumped in my my throat. She tried to kill me. You know, I have marks in my, my neck. If you don't see... So you were sleeping and he jumped in the bed? No, he was sleeping. I was talking. Yes. He said, you shut the up. You talk too much. And I keep talking. Yes. But I was... 10 feet from him. Yes. He jumped on me. Who? So I defend myself. Sir, who were you? The guy. Time out. Who were you talking to if he was asleep? I was talking by myself, sir. You were talking to yourself? Yeah. You talk to yourself often? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You were talking to yourself. Yeah. And, and he got upset. Very, and he got upset while he, he was, was asleep. He upset. He said, I'm tired. I want to sleep. And I, you want to jump on me. How much have you been drinking tonight? No, not much, sir. How, mu how much, honestly? Three beers, four beers. Three or four beers? Yeah. What about that pint up there? No, it was not mine, sir. Whose was it, his or yours? I don't know. You have to figure out. You are the detective, you know? OK. I, t I said it's not mine. It's his. You had three or four beers and split, it, split that man's grape. That's it, sir. You split his head for no... For, yes, for, sir. Yes, sir. You split his head because he told you to be quiet and stop talking? Yes, sir. Okay. That's pretty much all I had to hear. I've been with the sheriff's office for almost 16 years. I think it's a, it's a good job. I think we help our community by getting to know the people on a, a personal level. Uh, in the long run, that helps us deal with them when we have to come back. Uh, on a call for service and talk to him. We were en route to a call. It originally came out as a suspicious person, but it's been uh, upgraded to a person down. It's in one of our local county parks. Possibly the subject is intoxicated.
You got any ID on you? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, come here. The question was, do you have any ID on you? Yes, sir. Okay, let me see it. Okay. What's going on tonight, sir? Not much, sir. Some of my mom's barbecuing on my way back to Northwest. Okay. Which of you had to drink tonight? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Are you sure about that? Your eyes telling me something else. Uh, I mean, I drank early. early. I'm talking about this morning drink. Okay. What time did you start drinking to this today? Uh, well, I woke up pretty late, about 11, and 11, I, I, I woke up, you know, got ready. What time did you take the first drink? Mm, probably about 11. What time did you take your last drink? I, did, I had two beers probably within 30 minutes, and we were eating a little barbecue. When and was, was getting, your last drink? Probably around 12. And 12? You yes. haven't had anything since then? No, sir. Not at all? No, sir. Okay, are you on the medication? No, sir. No? Okay. No. I'd like to uh, have you perform a series of field sobriety tests. Would okay. you do that for me? Yeah. Okay. No problem. All right. All right, sir, what I need for you to do first of all okay. is see this yellow line right there? Okay. Why don't you stand right in the middle, right in the middle, both feet right in the middle of the two lines. So I want you to take your right foot, place it directly in front of your left foot. I want you to stay that way until I finish explaining and demonstrating the rest of the exam, okay? Okay. There you go, right there. From that position, now I'm gonna walk towards you so you can see what I'm gonna do. In that position, I want you to count, I want you to walk nine, nine steps forward. I want you to count each step as you do. Okay. okay, you're gonna go nine steps forward. You're gonna turn around and come back nine steps. Okay. You ready? Go ahead and begin. One, two, three, Heel to toe, sir. Five. So Six, you're not touching heel to toe. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn around. When did I tell you to turn around? At what count? Nine steps. Okay. Is I'm it nine at, yet? I'm at ten. Okay. What you sh should you do now? Turn around. Okay. Turn around then. Okay. What I need for you to do now is raise one foot. It doesn't matter which one. Okay. Okay. Six inches off the ground. And as you hold that foot up six inches off the ground, I want you to count from one to 30. Okay. Put your uh, arms down to your side. Raise your foot up six inches off the ground and begin counting. Look at your foot as you count. One, two, <coughs> three, Subject is having four, a time, uh, five, his foot up, he's already six, twice, seven, swing. eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This count is very fast. Yep. He lost his balance. What I need for you to do now is turn around, face that way. Okay. Put your hands behind your back for me. I want you to relax. Okay. This time, sir, you're under arrest for suspicion of driving while intoxicated. Do you understand me, sir? Yes, sir. I have a couple questions for y'all. The subject is your boyfriend, correct? Tell me again what happened. How did y'all wind up where y'all are right now? Well, we told him to turn around, so he turned in here, and we got in this huge argument, so he stopped, like, really hard. Mm -hmm. And then the, I guess, park ranger mm -hmm. stopped us. Okay. And, like, called you guys. That's about it. Okay, what was the argument about? Was it... Because of the wrong directions, he thought he knew where he was going, and we told him he was going the wrong way. Oh, okay. All That's right. what he got mad about. He thought he was right, and, and that and that made it set him off and it made him mad. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, I'll tell him. Uh, in fact, um, Alice is also here, and you can tell him that yourself. Okay. And we'll check on the phone, too. Okay? okay? All right. Uh, give me one second, okay? Hey, Christopher. Yes, sir. Your girlfriend wants to talk with you for a second, okay? Bye. Thank you. Bye. Is that it? Hey, Chris, did y'all have like a little argument about something? I don't think so. Okay. Oh. Just pretty much direction art. Because I, I thought my directions were right. Mm -hmm. She thought hers were right. Mm -hmm. Which I've been down here a few more times, but okay. no biggie. Okay. In the next six hours or so, you'll see a judge. The judge will set a bond for you. And once that bond is set, 
then uh, you can either get a Bell's Bondsman or Right, but I mean, I don't want none of my family to pay money to get me out. Okay. I mean, uh, if I up, that's what I want to do. Okay, all right, we understand that. It's kind of taking responsibility for it, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't want nobody else to pay for it for me. Okay, all right. Yep, that's 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 what you call taking responsibility for. That's for sure. But uh, okay. Well, uh, anything else? Can you tell Cat or anything? Just or? tell her I love her and I'll see her later. Okay. All right. Well, I will relay that to Cat then. Thank you. Okay. All right. Hey, Cat. He just want to tell you that he he loves you. Okay. All right. He said he'll be all right. All right. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you all very much. Take care of him. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay. Gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code three. Thanks, Cat. Okay, we'll still send a code three.